uh, that they're going to conduct is uh, about the WB57. So we're going to fly some planes over and make sure that we can actually see that solar corona, that uh, those atmos that hot atmosphere uh, that's around the sun that we're about to get once uh, we reach totality. Yeah, and it looks like uh, it's all almost there. Yes, it's almost there. <laughs> uh, you know, we have a view right now of inside the cockpit of one of the WB57s, or at least we're efforting one because, as you said, this is going to be a huge part of what we do in Mazatlan. Definitely, yeah. It's the uh, oh, it's, there it is. Oh, Kelly. there, there it, is. it is. Oh, look at that view. So we're looking oh, out. That's great. We're looking out, and it looks like we might be able to. We're seeing a lot of clouds, but hopefully a shadow as well as we're coming in to totality there. Um, and so yeah, so these WB57s are carrying three different instruments or three different uh, experiments: two to look at the sun and one to look at our atmosphere because our atmosphere actually responds to the eclipse. And we're trying to figure out how that ionosphere, that layer of the atmosphere, actually responds to it. And you said it does look like there's already a shadow over land, you know. Yes. We also have a shot, and we'd like to pull that up now, a shot of the coast and the fact that it's already going on over. And you know what's really cool about all of this is we do. We do have eyes all over this thing because we are collecting so much data. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we have the, the stuff here. We also have rockets on the other side of the country being launched. So again, study that. Oh, look at that. Wow. There's the diamond, that's, the diamond ring. That's oh. right. <laughs> We're not there, but I feel the energy yeah, exactly. just watching it. Uh, yeah, so this is the because of the craters and the peaks and valleys and the moon, uh, we're seeing the last bits that are just getting through, and now we're oh, getting to wow. totality. Uh, this is great. So you're starting to see those pink fingers um, out there yes. kind of sticking out. Wow. So again, totality here in Mazatlan, Mexico, the first community in North America to experience the moon completely eclipsing the sun. And if you are in Mazatlan right now, it is now safe to remove your eclipse glasses for the next four minutes. <gasps> And you mentioned some of those pink filaments that we're seeing, right? Can you talk us a little bit through that, Kelly? Yeah, so those pink filaments, um, they're, because they're helium rich, that's why they're, they're appearing pink and they're, they're hanging out there. Those could be the start of space weather. So there are uh, lots of tons of material, billions of tons of material that could possibly be one of those explosions for space weather, the reasons why we really study the sun and try to understand how to live with the sun. Mm. Well, can you, know, you explain why space weather is important to us here on Earth? Definitely. So it's not just satellites that need that uh, are are interested in space weather. It's also our power grids because of those energetic particles coming from those those uh, big explosions that could happen in the sun. Um, that could damage our power grids. It could uh, also uh, do things like interfere with GPS signals. And I know we all use our phones to navigate everywhere. Um, so if we didn't have that, that would be a big uh, big problem. So we're uh, looking to understand it better so we can all mitigate all those things. Some of the movement we're seeing here is just or telescope operator adjusting because again they needed to make some changes for before totality now they're viewing it a different way and then after totality we might see some shakes there as well but i really just cannot believe how how crisp it is as we said it's not a marble <laughs> but i mean just the view of it is so crisp with these little uh, again those filaments are just amazing that we can see that to, to such accuracy you know right definitely and also the fu the fu white fuzz i mean that's you're seeing something that's a million degrees just wow. hanging wow out all around the sun and you know three uh what is it three million earths can fit inside of there so there's a <laughs> lot of there's a lot of atmosphere there um all around there just hanging out uh, being very warm and so how you know one of our mysteries is and one of the the b-57s are addressing there um, you go oh, wb-57 oh, pilot our pilot yeah. Yeah. He's flying. So basically, Kelly, he is going to fly and try to, to, to chase down the shadow for as long as possible. Keep up with it as long as possible. Exactly. The shadow is much faster than the plane. However, they can chase it for a while and get an extra two minutes. So uh, on the ground, we can only get four and a half minutes. And they're going to get six and a half for that plane. I love that they're waving they're to waving. us. Oh, there you go. And now we're flipped. Now we're right. seeing the front. Right. So again, yeah. they are in night. I mean, yeah. it looks yeah. very dark with only some light on in, in the horizon. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's what we'll expect to. Uh, wherever we see totality is, is the night sky is very dark. You might even see some planets or stars. Um, and then you'll see like twilight all around at a 360 degrees. Mm -hmm. What an amazing vantage point as well. My gosh. Mm -hmm.